How's it gaming guys? I'm filling the blanks and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man X5. It's been a couple years since our last Mega Man X game was, geez, 2021, I think? Yeah, it was before I got my new job. Um, so yeah, it's, it's fairly old, so I figured, you know, we played Rockman and Forte, and last year we did the Sequel Wars and, and Maverick Hunter X. Uh, but yeah, time to move on to X5, which introduces a ton of new characters as you can see right there. Uh, some of which are sort of important, I guess. Um, this this is the game that really expands the X universe, for better or for worse. Some of the decisions are really good, some of them are not. Uh, <clears throat> but this, the game itself is very divisive. A lot of people say, and I agree, this is the beginning of the end for the Mega Man X series. Um, there's a lot of fun ideas, a lot of great music, for example, but weird decisions that they, they, they wanted to try to expand on, on what a Mega Man game was, which is, you know, the right thing to do for the most part, but not every decision was a good decision. Now, this version of the game, though, is not Mega Man X5. This is Mega Man X5, The Improvement Project, and this was done by a bunch of people online to kind of smooth out the rough edges that X5 has. Now, it doesn't fix uh, all the problems, but it fixes a good chunk of them. I, I went to the little demo screen. Come on, get back to the title screen, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that uh, there is a retranslation, which is probably for the best. It wasn't a bad translation, not like Soul Blazer, which we just played through, but it wasn't great. Uh, let's go to our options. We're playing normal, normal. Uh, and we'll explain the rest of the changes as we play. Let's just jump in there. Huzzah. There's no anime cutscenes anymore, it's just, uh, just kind of talking stuff. Oh, and I forgot this. Choose between X and Zero, just like you could in X4. Uh, the difference, though, in this one, you can switch. Every time you start a level, you can choose X or Zero, but the beginning choice here does matter. Uh, basically, in the intro section, when you get to the boss, if you choose X, Zero will be there wounded. If you're Zero, X will be there wounded. The difference, though, is if you choose Zero, you will lose an option for X, so we're not gonna, we don't want that. So let's play as X right at the beginning, and we will switch around characters as we play. I kind of have a set rule on which characters will go to which levels and get different things and that sort of thing. But yeah, in the year of 21XX, Mega Man X, episode five. Here we have a new character there. Yes, work's all done here. Piece of cake, really. Yes, I know. The colony is still kicking. It's at a place where I can let it drop at any time. Just hurry and give, uh, give me the signal. I'm getting bored. All I have to do now is spread the virus around and then return to Earth. Oh, mysterious voice. Who's this? Who could this gentleman be? I have no idea. <laughs> I see that you're holding up your end quite well. You're doing a good job. It's Sigma, by the way. It's clearly Sigma. Only complete fools like the Maverick Hunters would dare to fight against you, boss. Doesn't matter what it is. If I can do it for you, I will. Very well. I will now execute that part of our plan on Earth. Until then, you are on standby. But you shouldn't have to lift a finger, boss. Are they really that good? Are X and Zero, Zero really so strong that you can't have someone else do it? <laughs> yes, in a manner of speaking. Zero. It'll show you what you really... Uh, bleh, I'll show you what you really are and who your true enemy is. <laughs> oh, Sigma. You're so evil. <laughs> yeah, they don't they don't even hide it in this one. I mean, they I guess they technically do because it says mysterious voice, but it's Sigma. So yeah. Uh but yeah, like I said, there's a lot of new characters in this one. The first new character from the good guy's side is Alia. And she's kind of they call it I think it's a navigator. Uh but she's basically your your connection to the, the home hunter base. So this is Hunter Base. Can you hear me, X? Sigma appeared suddenly and moved towards the statue, which is under construction. We lost his trail and haven't picked up any reading since. I've lost contact with Zero, too. Where would he go? You can reach the statue by going straight in that direction. Stay alert. Several machines, even some deserted taxis, have become mavericks in the area. Be careful. Here we go! A new Mega Man X game with beautiful graphics. But you'll notice that X is in his um, fourth armor for Mega Man X 4. And that is the benefit from starting with X, that you get the armor right away. And you're probably thinking, like, well, that makes it too easy. And... For the most part, you're right. It does make it really easy. We're just going to skip what Alia says. Alia talks way too much. Way too much. Uh, and that's the big criticism of this game, is that the game will interrupt you like crazy to tell you things like, Mega Man, don't, don't jump in the hole. Hey, Mega Man, there's fire. Like, it's really, really bad. 
Um, this version of the game, the Improvement Project, allows me to go in here and actually switch off Alia completely. Uh, right down here, Navigator. I actually don't want that. Um, I like that she talks to you at the beginning of each level because it adds a little bit of, not lore or anything, but context to some of the levels, basically. So I want to keep that on. Thankfully, in the Improvement Project, woo! in the Improvement Project, I can skip what she says uh, with the Start button, with the Pause button. On the original version, you'd have to, like, hammer down the button, like, like, like just repeatedly press the X button or something to get rid of what she was saying. Like, uh, like right here, I think she starts talking. Yeah, so I'd have to be like, blah, 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 like that. But in this version, I can just press the Start button, and that's it. Also, you'll notice you can duck. Ducking's pretty cool. You also can't shoot through terrain, which is super weird for a Mega Man game. Uh, it does change things because, you know, now you can't, you know, attack an enemy if there was something over there on the other side of that wall, for example. But anyways, the big thing with the improvement project, th those are some, like, light, uh, quality of life changes and stuff, but there are some really good gameplay changes, too. We won't really see the fruits of that in this episode, um, but they are very important and make this game a lot funner to play in a more complete way. Here we go. I love that statue. It looks fantastic. And a Mega Man X Lady Liberty. It looks great. Oh, no, Zero! Your buster fell off. Zero, are you alright? I'm okay. Just a broken buster and a busted ego. More importantly, what about Sigma? Where is he? I completely lost sight of him. Ilya is searching for him right now, but there is no data response at all. He's a virus. He's not something that can be seen with your eyes or be read correctly like other data. You have to feel his evil energy. <laughs> oh, Japan, the whole, like, I feel his energy around us. It's so silly. These are robots with science. They don't have auras, guys. I know. Zero, go back to the base for now. It's pointless to fight him in your present condition. I can feel him. Sigma's nearby. I'll back off so I don't get in your way, but... I'll do one last search around here. I can feel him, too. Sigma's very close to us. Watch yourself, X. Oh, no, he's right there! I love how he's just kind of hiding out inside the face. But, um, it is really cool seeing that, like, angelic, beautiful woman there, the face. And then it's Sigma's head right here. It's quite the juxtaposition. I love it a lot. <laughs> Foolish Maverick Hunters. Witness the true power of a Maverick in death. And he's very easy because this is, you know, a Mega Man X game, and it's the beginning level. Uh, bosses have way more health in this game, as you can tell. Uh, watch watch his life there. I've hit him twice already, and only like like one pixel is going per shot. Uh, and in the other Mega Man and Mega Man X games, I think everyone has like 32 bars of health. In this, it's way more. But you're also able to do a lot more damage. Uh, so there's just a lot more variance uh, in, in the type of damage you can do. So it's not really a big deal, but some of the bosses have straight up too much health. Okay, you're just gonna do this. You're gonna do your big old laser. I wanna see the big old laser, man. Make sure to use that ducking, because he can't hit you with the lasers uh, with the Oh, you're doing it? Nope. Here, he can't hit you with this either. I haven't gotten hit in this entire level. I'm doing amazing. Don't worry, I'll definitely get hit. This is a fairly hard game. Oh, there we go. Believe it or not, that does not hit me. Woo! Boink. Almost dead, Sigma. Gonna do your little zippy balls. Oh, woo, careful. And smack. There we go. Easy enough. Easy enough. So now that we've defeated the first level with X in the fourth armor, we keep that fourth armor for the rest of the game. You don't have to use it, but it is available. And I do like that choice that it gives you. This is bad. The Sigma virus is spreading. At the rate it's going, it's likely spreading all over the Earth. All the Reploids are in serious danger. Who cares about the humans, I guess? Well, I guess it's a virus. Like a computer virus or wouldn't affect humans, I guess. I don't know. Damn him. Did Sigma lose to us on purpose? Damn it, we have to evacuate immediately. The... Oh, the hunter base. I guess the, there's... The uh, white noise or something that's supposed to be there. This is hunter base. Respond, are you both safe? Any damage? Are you alright? X, zero. The Earth is in a huge panic because of the Sigma virus. It's dangerous to stay there. Report back to the base at once. Here's our next new character, Cygnus. Don't know why that's his name. It's too close to Sigma, in my opinion. They should have called him, like, Captain or something. I know that's a little lame, but, I mean, they had a character named Colonel in Mega Man X4. But he's, like, your boss, basically. He's very bland. <laughs> damn you, Sigma. You will pay for this. You said damn three times in this story sequence, Zero. You have a potty mouth, sir. I've always said, if, it, if all we do is fight, we'll just keep repeating the same pattern. Fighting resolves nothing. Yes, X. Get off your high horse. 
The situation was far worse than expected. Sigma's explosion has, has spread the virus all over the Earth. So yeah, if you didn't destroy that big head, that would have contained the virus, I guess. Both people and reploids are in a state of confusion and disorder. On top of that, the space colony Eurasia is heading straight towards Earth. That's where that other guy, the guy that we saw at the beginning with no name yet, he was on there kind of waiting for the signal to kind of make that thing fall to Earth. At this rate, it's going to take 16 hours for it to collide with Earth. Everything, including reploids and the entire human race, will be annihilated. We have no choice. For the sake of the world, we must destroy the colony. And that is your main part of the story. And it's a pr pretty cool idea. They do want to flesh out the story a little bit more. And this story for the Mavericks and what you're doing makes a lot more sense than just, there's a bunch of robots, go kill them. But the only weapon we have in the Hunter base that's in decent shape is the Enigma, and it's very old. We also have a space shuttle, but because the autopilot is disabled by the virus, the plan is a very risky one. Someone will have to pilot it close to the colony and crash against it. It's almost certain death, but we have no other choice. How's the condition of the Enigma? And here's our next little character, Douglas. He's like an engineer of some sort. Uh, not super important, but it's cute that they have like a support character there. Far from perfect. In order to use the Enigma, we'll need to reinforce it with some devices. It can't, it can't destroy anything in its current state. Due to the influence of the Sigma virus, many of our hunters have become Mavericks, and only a few remain. Let's join forces with the rest of our members and complete the Enigma. And there we go, that's our like main story of why we're going against Mavericks and stuff. And they actually explain each Maverick, and I think that's really cool. But here we go, woo, you get your clear time, you get how many Mavericks defeated, how much damage you received, zero, that's right. I won't see that ever again. Uh, but I like how you get that like breakdown, and Alia is the one kind of giving it to you. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's go in there. And we have 16 hours to collision. What does that mean? Don't worry. That's actually weirdly important. But here we go. We only have 16 hours left before the collision. We have to upgrade the Enigma before then. There are four Mavericks that have the devices needed to enhance the Enigma. Crescent Grizzly, a weapons broker. He has an Oracalcum ball. Tidal Whale. He lives in the ocean. We will have access to hydrogen if we secure the ocean. Volt Kraken, an ex-Maverick hunter. He has an energy cartridge. Shining Firefly, a doctor of engineering. He has a laser device. There are four other Mavericks, but those four Mavericks are the only ones who have the devices to upgrade the Enigma. X, Zero, you are the only Maverick Hunters that can match these Mavericks. Split up so you can gather the, the devices. To check the devices that you have acquired, press the R1 by blah 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 blah. Oh, I love how I was just like, there are four other Mavericks, but we don't really care about them. It's like uh, Spiral Pegasus, uh, ah, Spike Rose Red. Jark Necrobat and Burn Dino Rex. I think that's their name. Uh, anyone who's played this game before has probably noticed that the names are actually different than the normal names. These are the Japanese names, uh, Crescent Grizzly and all that, uh, which, you know, line up with the usual Mega Man X naming convention. You know, Chill Penguin, Storm Eagle, uh, all that. But in the English version, for some reason, the, the translation team was obsessed with Guns N' Roses and named all eight Mavericks after Guns N' Roses members. Now, I don't know anything about Guns N' Roses except for that Slash and Axel. Uh, Axel Rose? I don't know his name. Uh, so I guess Slash is really the only one I know of uh, who was in Guns N' Roses, but all the other characters were named that. It was like Grizzly Slash. It was like, oh, geez, what was Squid Adler? Uh, Izzy Glow, Duff McWhalen. The Skyver, I think was how it was pronounced. Um, Axel Rose Red. Um, who were you? Dark Dizzy and Matt Rex. Which is like, these are... What, Bill. Bill the Bat. It's named after Bill. Like, it was such a weird idea. Anyways, you press the LNR button, you can see that the Enigma has no parts, but you can shoot it right now if you want to. It's not a good idea to. You will fail, uh, probably. It's like a percentage-based thing. But yeah, and we can equip X, uh, X and Zero and the fourth armor things. We don't have anything to equip though, so let's just jump in there. Go to Crescent Grizzly, and with 16 hours to launch, and we can choose regular X, fourth armor X, and Zero. This time we'll choose Zero, and every time you go to a stage, one hour gets depleted. So we had 16 hours, now we have 15 hours. If that goes down to Zero, the space colony falls, and it's not the end of the game but you have failed your mission. This game has three endings and a bunch of different ways to get all these endings, which is pretty unique. It's it's a good idea, just handled very weirdly, but we're going for the good ending this time. We're going for all three endings, basically. Destroy the Mavic trucks, then you'll be able to reach the security warehouse. Okay, you'll also notice that 
a lot of the levels in this game um, are kind of modeled after the level styles of X4. X4 had the, what was it, the, the supply train? And um, this game has uh, this, this kind of convoy. Blah, 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 I don't care, Alias. I will be skipping Alias stuff other than the beginning stuff. Um, it's weird that X4 started a lot of the the conventions. Oh, also Zero has a buster in this version, which is kind of cool. It's decently strong, I guess, but you can only do it while standing still, so it's not very useful. But whatever. Um, yeah, get out of the way. Get out of the way. But yeah, so I'll, we'll go into the idea of, like, reusing stage conventions as we play more, but in this one it's like, yeah, here's here's what was something from X4, just done kind of differently slightly. Careful. There we go. Ooh, that was really close. They really want you to learn how to duck. Uh, Zero starts with an air dash, which is really, really great. Uh, so what's fun about this game, like I said, you can choose X or Zero per stage. That means the enemy boss uh, weapons and stuff you get affect both characters, which is really great. Now, one of the dumb things about the original X4 was that if I collect the heart tank in this level with Zero, X doesn't get it. If, and I don't know if you can go back and get it or if it's straight up gone, but that's really dumb. Oops, I jumped right into that. And into that. That's great. Good job, Phil. I'm doing amazing now. Uh, oh, ooh, I can't believe I caught that. In this version, doesn't matter who you're playing as, everyone will get everything. I love that. So I'm really glad they ended up doing that. It just makes it a lot funner to play the game as you want it. The other thing is, we won't really see it until we beat the level, and I'll kind of explain it then, but we're going to be running out of time, so I might not explain it this episode. Ooh, so let's keep going. This is all going to start exploding. We want to get to the end of all this, that was stupid of me, uh, before it all explodes, because there is a sub-tank that I want. Ooh, careful. Ooh, love the air dash. It's so great. Right over here, there it is. The sub-tank is right there. There we go. Now we're fine. There are also, ah, uh, jeez, you fired a lot. Oh my gosh. Uh, there are a lot of collectibles in this game. There are two full armor sets, and uh, two sub tanks, an EX tank, a weapon tank, uh, and of course, eight art tanks. So everything's got a lot. Every level's got something in it, obviously. Uh, is this the secret warehouse? I can't tell. But there are strong energy readings. We're getting even stronger energy readings from deep inside. It must be him, stay on guard. First thing we wanna do is, go up here, Get our first piece of the Falcon armor. One of the two armors in this game. You are Zero, aren't you? Who are you? Thank you for supporting X. Please continue to take care of him. I'll give you a program for X's armor. Analyze and upload the data to X's main memory in a secure area. Um, her name is Alia, isn't it? She can analyze the data and upload it to X's memory. Anyway, here's the leg program for the Falcon armor. With the leg program installed, X will have access to a special air dash that makes him invincible while performing it, and will also damage enemies. This is an incomplete version of the Falcon Armor's free move, which he'll be able to perform once the armor is complete. It will allow him to stay airborne and collide with enemies without taking damage for a short period of time. I'm afraid that I know nothing about your body structure, so I can't enhance your power. I'm really sorry. I don't need any power-ups. But I have one thing I want to ask you. Sometimes unknown data em emerges in my mind, and I can see a figure of an old professor. Do you know him by any chance? I don't know. Perhaps if I saw him. But the data must be a fragment created by some error. I wouldn't worry about it. I don't worry about it, but when I saw you I felt an urge to ask you. I'm sorry I couldn't give you an answer to your question. Never mind, I didn't expect one. Anyway, I'll give X the armor program. Yeah, in X 1 through 4, it makes it sound like the Dr. Light thing is a recorded program. In this, it makes it sound like he's an AI, so I guess... I guess Dr. Light is ChatGPT? I don't know. Ah, uh, you out. I don't want to get too close to you, man. Come on. There we go. In uh, the original X 5, you could not allow X to use an arm come here. Uh, X to use an armor unless he had received all four pieces, which was sucky because I liked how in the other games you just use the pieces, but because there's two armors, I get what they were doing. In this version, because of the improvement project, you can use the armor at any point, which is really cool. We'll get into that when we play as X next episode. I'm a big bear man. Look at me go. Zero, my scars ache at the sight of you. 
You should hurry and get that fixed. Just hand over the orc alchem. There's no time. Why don't you do what you usually do and force me to? Long ago, you too were a maverick, right? I've also heard that you beat Sigma with only your bare hands. I don't care for old stories. If it's a fight you want, I'll take you on. Sigma and hunters are so alike. Quick to fight. What? Don't compare us to scum like him. What you do is the same. I merely move weapons, but you wipe out anyone who stands in your way. Now I will claim vengeance for this wound, Maverick Hunter. You're like, okay, this will be a good fight, and it's actually really, really easy. Um, the boss fights can sometimes be challenging, but it's more of, like, how much HP they have. You can see there Crescent Grizzly has is level 3, and bosses actually do have levels that dictate um, how much HP they have, and that's it. They don't get more aggressive, they don't have different tactics, they just have more HP. And if you're playing on easy mode, they are all at level 1, and if you're on the harder difficulty, I think they're all at the max level. Um, but basically, depending on how good you play through the levels, you'll get a rank. And the higher the rank, the more levels the bosses are going to get. It's not really, really important. Again, it's just HP, so it's not huge, and I don't care about my rank, and I'm not going to be caring about my rank. The other part of the ranking system that is, is that it allows you to choose either a life up or a weapon up, or a life up plus or a weapon up plus. Uh, basically, you can make extra parts from, I guess, from the Mavericks who defeated, I don't know. Uh, ooh, SA rank, I'm okay with that. You gain DNA data from the boss who just defeated. She says this every time. It basically means that I've got weapons. You don't get a cool, you get weapons screen like you do in every other Mega Man game, which is really a shame. But at the end, you get to choose between uh, the weapon, you always get the weapons, and a life and energy up. A life up allows you to have two extra little blips to your to your life, and energy up, same thing, just to all your energy. I tend to always get life up because I don't use a lot of the weapon energy in this game, and life up means that by the end of this game, I am almost invincible. Uh, you are expected to get a lot of life in this game, so it's not just your heart tanks, this counts too. The plus, now normally you need to get a really good rank to do it, but because this is the improvement project, you always get the option for the plus. And it's hard to explain. We'll kind of explain it when we get the parts, but basically you make extra parts, but you won't see these parts for another two in-game hours. So we won't have to worry about them right now, but I do get my weapons right away. The Crescent Shot and the Crescent Sword. So I also got the Leg Parts F and the Sea Ball, which I think stands for Crystal Ball. My Falcon Armor. And, yeah, Crescent Grizzly had the Orcalcum. This should greatly increase the striking ability of the Enigma. I'll ask another hunter to do the recovery operation so you can return to the Hunter Base. Hooray! And with that, yeah, uh, that we are playing Mega Man X5, uh, and it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, the, the improvement project does a lot of really good... Oh, there's story. Okay, well, let's do this, I guess. Uh, incoming message from Sources Unknown. Who's this? I've never seen him before. Attention to all Maverick Hunters. I have no hard feelings towards you, but this is my mission. Before long, I will attack the Hunter base. Oh, are Mr. X and Mr. Zero there? Please play with me. I'm really bored. Don't worry, we'll fight like true sportsmen. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dynamo. See you soon. Damn him. At a time like this? Do we have no choice but to fight against a punk like this? I mean, probably don't. You probably someone else could deal with this, but whatever. Uh, that's Dynamo. Anyways, yeah, like I said, the improvement project will will improve this game a lot, and we'll go through some of the more improvements next episode. Uh, I'm Phil the Blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.